day YouTube. Today I'm going to show a bit of a comparison video between MX Linux on the left and Linux Mint on the right. So both the latest releases here. Now starting off, uh, ooh, let's see, so MX Linux uh, version 21 is actually a, a rolling release. So you get updates all the time, no big ass updates at the, uh, you know, once every six or 12 months, that kind of thing. Or well, nine months for that matter. Uh, moving on, uh, and, uh, Linux Mint 20.2 is actually a rolling release. So you get the big, <laughs> big updates every six months there. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, now, MX Linux is actually based off, uh, oh, now this is where it gets interesting. MX Linux is based off Debian, a very stable branch of Linux there. And uh, Linux Mint is actually based off Ubuntu, uh, which is in turn based off uh, Debian. So a little bit of an extra link in the chain there for sure. Now this is a little bit of an apples to oranges video because we are dealing with different desktop environments here. So on the left hand side we have XFCE, the light to midweight desktop environment. On the right hand side we've got Cinnamon, the in-house built desktop environment from the Linux Mint crew. So a little bit different, a little bit the same. I mean, we've got our start menus. In fact, you might, without a keen eye, you might think that that looks pretty much exactly the same, which it kind of does in its own way there. We've got the sidebar menu, uh, a little bit different there, side to bottom, but hey, all the same really there. Uh, let's have a look at the, the, the file manager there as well. Let's see if there's anything to write home about with this one for sure. And we've got the Thunar file manager on the left. And on the right, we've got the Nemo file manager, very, very commonly used with Ubuntu and things like that. It goes by many, many names. Uh, but hey, both fully functional, both, both usable. Hey, you can drag and drop, and I will not stop you from doing that. Neither will these operating system uh, guys that have created these ones here. Uh, now let's have a look at the, the kernel. So running on the 5.10 kernel for the uh, Debian backed distro there, whereas Linux Mint 5.4. <laughs> Hopelessly old in its own way, but it is actually running on an older version of uh, Ubuntu. The uh, ooh, see if we can load that up. Uh, that would be the uh, ooh, sudo get it. Uh, in fact, let's just scroll up. We should be able to find the sources list. There we go. So running on uh, the long-term service release of Ubuntu, to be quite more specific around what I said before, which is technically something called Ubuntu 20.04 as opposed to the currently released 21.10. But that's really getting into it a little bit too far for these nice and simple videos here. Uh, let's see, uh, let's get into some of the fun and have a look at the, uh, the CPU usage. So mostly idling out there, can't complain too much. Here's one of the notable differences. Uh, we've got about 700 or oh, 800 megabytes of RAM on boot up for the Linux Mint on the right, whereas about 600, uh, 550 megabytes of RAM. So a good whopping 250 megabytes of difference there. Just doing a simple quick math calculation that should be easy enough for me. But um, that, that just means that you want to keep an eye on this sort of stuff just in case you're going to use an old laptop or you know whatever the case may be. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.